Scott Rumsey is in his 13th season on the coaching staff at Marist, 10th as defensive coordinator, returning to coach the defensive lineman this year. Coach Rumsey, this is the third year that you guys are playing the 3-3-5 scheme, and it really appears as if the guys have gotten more comfortable in that scheme over the course of the last couple of years. Last year, this was a team that was 10th in the FCS ranks in total defense. Talk about how the guys have grown in this defense over the last couple of years. Anytime you install a new scheme, it takes a year or two to kind of find your rhythm with the scheme. And I think the guys, because we've returned so many starters each and every year, that they've really grown into the scheme and we've become very fast at playing the scheme. We have a lot of new wrinkles in this year that we'll see how they go. But yes, you're, you're right. Overall, we've become very comfortable in the scheme. And we become better every year as a coaching staff in making the calls that put the players in the right position. That's really what we're trying to do. You can have the greatest scheme if you don't get your players in the right spot you're not going to be real successful. Now, back coaching the defensive line this year, a unit which a couple of your more experienced and successful guys are actually offensive line convertees. Talking about Matt Snow, talking about Terrence Turner, and even a younger guy like Dave Torriola all started their careers at Maris on the offensive line. How have those guys been able to make such a successful conversion to the defensive line? Well, two of them are playing our nose guard position, and both of them were guards on the on the offensive line. So that's really a pretty easy conversion. Matt's been a, a real pleasant surprise. He had a lot more of a defensive mentality in an offensive player's body. So I think it was kind of always in there trying to break its way out with, with Matt Snow. And he's a lot freer. He's a lot more relaxed playing defense. And especially Matt and Terrence are great leaders for the young guys that we have on, in our group as a defense line. And overall, uh, within the scheme, they've been great leaders for us and really walking guys through the right ways to do things. Obviously Terrence has finished a biomed major in three and a half years. He's now going back in a year and getting a chemistry major. And Matt made some academic mistakes in his, in his career early on, but has really guided some of the youth and now he's become a great student and a great role model for a lot of the guys on the team. You talk about those guys along with a guy like James Sessatel, who's a junior, who's gotten a lot of experience the last couple of years. This is one of the more experienced units of this team. What do you expect from them this season? Expect great things. Those those guys you talked about, plus you had a guy like Mike Hageman that has a lot of experience from last year too. He played a lot of snaps for us last year, so we're expecting great things out of him again. He started in the first 6-7 practice here and been very, very good so thus far in camp. Bring in some young guys. We have a Kevin Stark, Steve Diamidi, Eugene Siniglio, Bobby Lyons, Brian Sanford. We've gotten a lot bigger. On the defensive line, we'll see some of the older guys are in the in the six one, six foot range now. Some of these younger guys, but Lions is like six six, Stark six two. These guys are six two, six three, six four guys, and we've really, especially adding into the Pioneer League, had great size uh, in our recruiting, and, and that's really going to help us. I think we're going to get contributions from a lot of people. We played eight guys in every game last year. I would see that that continuing again this year on the defensive line. Scott Rumsey, 10th year as defensive coordinator, 13th on the Marist coaching staff, back coaching the defensive lineman this year. Coach Rumsey, best of luck this season. Thanks very much, Mike. I appreciate it.